For this video, we're going to cover using the pH test kit, not necessarily a meter, so you can see when you unpack your materials, you're going to have a color comparator with some different scales to use, also some test chemicals to work with. So when you begin, you're going to go ahead and get your sample A and sample B, and you're going to fill those all the way up to the 10 milliliter line. It's very clearly marked on these sample tubes, uh, so please be sure to carefully do that. Now you're going to use your indicator solution and you're going to add approximately 10 drops, being careful to not let the dropper touch the test tube while you're dropping it in there. And then you're going to cap it and mix it when you're complete. So once you have your sample water treated, you're going to go ahead and select the color scale that most closely resembles your sample. One of the color scales is more acidic and one is more basic. In our case here, we're looking at one that is more basic. In this case, we're going to go ahead and compare our colors. And you can see that this most closely resembles 7.5 as our pH. So we're slightly basic. And as always, you're going to report your results to your data collector. You're going to test your sample B also, and then any treated water, uh, you're going to go ahead and pour back into your waste container, and don't forget to clean out your test tubes and pick up any scrap materials you left behind.